All right, y'all, let me go over something real simple that was very difficult for me to understand. I come from a Fruity Loops background or FL Studio, but I started using it back when it was called Fruity Loops. Let me go ahead and boot this up. A uh, simple uh, sample stretcher and not the warp. The warp sounds terrible. So I don't, some people use it. I can't. I generally don't like how it it, it de degrades the sample. So I'm going to boot this up. Empty project. Let me find sample. Let me see which one I use. The SSD. Uh, all my dumb song names that I make up. Let me see. I don't even know what that is. It just came on all of a sudden. Uh, let me find a quick sample. Uh, you know what this is. These are all samples that I chopped up back in the Fruity Loop stage using Audacity and SoundForge. So both of those. I guess I can go with this one. See how slow it is. Go to sample edit and BPM 73.47 right there. And I'll highlight that too. But uh it took me a minute because usually I would go and hit the warp. But now just go to process. Wait, let me go back to the main first too. My master BPM is 85 BPMs in the middle. I generally like, I'm a 90s hip hop head, so I like my BPMs in the 90s. I can't do those slow tempo unless it's some R&B stuff. But, all right, let's go back to the sample edit. Process. All right, you get all these options here. You hit the scroll wheel, scroll through them, delete, silence, extract, normalize, make everything to sound. Or we'll bring the sound up and time stretch so i'm just assuming because i know I, I chopped the sample or i sampled the song so i know it's it's two bars which is eight beats four beats to a bar so i'm gonna leave that eight but you can change that down to four and you'll see the the tempo but we'll leave it at eight click there I usually hit it twice. Let me just type 85 in instead of using the scroll Do wheel it. just because I know Do it. what BPM Do I'm it. using. And it's processing. And see how it's sped up. And then if you go back to the main uh, program, we can assign it. It's already there. That off though. Just that first time it's gonna still sound funky because it's catching up. Perfect. Took me so long to figure that out. I got this thing for not this Christmas, not the 2021 Christmas, but the 2020 Christmas. And I'm not really, you know, I'm a little older. I don't sit down and make beats all day like I used to. But when I do get around to it, it's the most simplest thing is to know how to stretch your samples and, and get them timed right. And I couldn't figure it out on this thing. It's a click on in Fruity Loops on the computer. But with this, a little few more screens, a few more steps in the process, but now it's simple. And that's all I want to show for now. So let me see here. Do I even want to name it? I got the, this sample used in the beat already, so I really don't want to say this. So that's it, y'all. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more content like this.